I know 2016 was hard in a lot of ways, but for me, I think this is my best year yet. Um, I think this year I was able to embrace my passion and, you know, for me that means food and pursue it in a way that I can share that with others. Um, and I did that through the different projects I'm working on. In 2016, I became a full-time freelancer, so I am now responsible for myself. No one owns me, so I have to go sell myself in front of an audience and be like, hey, this is why you should give me money. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm doing really, really well. I feel proud. My parents are proud of me, so I'm like, all right, I'm getting this adult thing on pretty well, and I feel proud of myself as a woman and representing myself in like conference rooms and everything. Something that was essential for me would be meeting so many other wonderful girls and the girl power that we have in this business right now. I think taking risks uh, in 2016 was a challenge that I needed to meet and I think that helped me grow as a woman, as a business person and my brand too. What I'm looking for in 2017 is achieving more of those dreams that um, I didn't get to do in these 12 months. Some of the benefits and some of the process are, you know, as a freelancer that you can just, if there's something you didn't like about the last year, you can just like, that's it, you put an end to it, and then you get to start over again. And for me, every year, I think of ways of how to reinvent myself, even if it's within the same industry. I think there's always opportunity to do something different or pursue it in a different way that feels new and exciting.